Hey guys, you want to come in and got another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the Land of Sieges and pause. Because we have guerrilla warriors, guerrilla troops around. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to stop it because I don't want to miss anything. We actually have a general. All right, all right we got to go over army cops real quick. Let's get it going. Welcome back to the Land of Sieges, guys. Welcome back to the channel. But all right, let's go. So we do have a Rome here on attack being commanded by two... Jedian, I think, and he has nine Evocati cohorts, five legionaries, two Praetorians, general is a legatus, and three Syrian archers. Moving on over here, we do have a Seleucid being commanded by Werti, I think, and he has six Thorax swordsmen, four silver shield swordsmen, three royal peltas, general is a shield bearer, and he also has three Syrian archers, again, from what we can see. I'm not sure if maybe he's got some more stuff hidden somewhere. Uh, then we have a Gete being commanded by Red Viking, and he has eight noble swords, one of those being the general, four axe warriors, four armored spears, two Dacian heavy bowmen, and two regular Dacian bowmen. And then we have, Arver have an Arverni, and we can't really see very much. Arverni being commanded by Big Kahuna, and he has three chosen swordsmen, one Celtic warrior, and a giant ballista. That's it. That's all we can see from Arverni. Getting on to the defenders first, obviously, we will take a look at Masasili here being commanded by Snowman. And he has five Numidian Light Infantry, two Desert Legionnaires, two Desert Cohorts. General is a Armored Numidian Rider. He also has four units of the Numidian Riders, which is the Medium Shock Gorilla Deploy Cavalry. Four Desert Chariots and four, I'm sorry, two African Elephants. Then we will take a look at the Macedon here being commanded by Aspect, and he has four Thorax Swordsmen, four Hoplites, three Shield Bearers, one of those being the General, two Thorax Pikemen, one Royal Peltast, three Cretan Archers, and two Regular Archers. Then we have an Armenia being commanded by I Might Snag, and he has four Axemen, three Cartley Axemen, two Noble Spearmen, General is an Azat Knight. He has four Elite Persian Archers, three Royal Cataphracts. And then finally, we have a Rome on defense here being commanded by Zuzka Vladko, I think, 2011. And he has nine armored legionnaires, three eagle cohorts, generals of Legatus, and he also has three Syrian archers and a Praetorian cavalry. So there you go. Army comps pretty quickly out of, out of the done, uh, done, out of the way, I guess. That's probably how I'm trying to say. I don't know. Let's get into the battle, guys. Hopefully you enjoy. Remember, like, comment share the video and subscribe to the channel but let's get it going all right so here we go we have some of the numidian riders kind of okay all right noble horse from our verney peeling out of the uh, woods there we have the lake at this general actually a little bit of duress just notice that they're only using large size units 120 infantry uh probably going to be at least what is that 90 archers and 60 cavalry yeah except for the lake at this generals they only have 30. All right, heavy spears or armored spears, I should say. Gonna block these Numidian riders up rather easily. Second unit of armored spears coming over here. Well done there with the cavalry counter tactics. And yes, so the Musasili Numidian riders here getting taken out very quickly. One kill in total for that unit. This unit here was zero. So not a very good start so far for Musasili. He's got all of his light infantry up on the line here as well, taking on some of the regular legionnaires there. So far, it looks like maybe the Numidians are doing well because they caught Rome off guard, but no, not this end. This end is not going to have this. What was that? Is that Armenia firing? It is. Armenia is firing down into the Roman army here. Legatus already down to 15 men. Shots coming, though. Shots fired. And chariots now joining the occasion. Oh, my God. Okay, that chariot got destroyed. 20 kills total, but they're still going. Still going. Have not shattered. Got archer fire coming over here now. Oh, boy. I think these Numidian riders might make their way around. Desert chariots again coming out. You can see everybody's still moving up. Armenia bringing his cavalry outside over on that side, but I cannot stay away from over here. Chariots broken away. Total of 43 kills for that unit. So, so far... I gotta say, Musasili with the getting the jump on Rome, Musasili has been having a rough go at this point. But he's brought out the rest of his army. Yes, he did. Elephants now coming out here as well. 
Numidian Riders posting up back here. Don't see any of the Gallic Hunters, but we do see arrows. Yes, we do. We got arrows coming from the Syrian archers. But wait a second. We got another chariot in here? Yes, we do. We have another chariot in here somewhere. I see just the one chariot there. Oh, no. Here they are. Okay, so they came across the front of the army trying to get in again. 68 kills for that one, down to 5, and they have now routed away. But the elephant's getting closer. This could be a little bit better. These African elephants can get in there. A lot of peel has already been used. So is it up to the elephants here? Four mistakes, he's got another chariot making their way. Oh, fire arrows! Fire arrows, but he's sending them out of control on top of his own troops. This second unit of African elephants have made their way in. Oh boy, yep, ticking it up, 210, 215, well done, this unit with 27, but the chariots now circling around into the back of the Roman here, getting into the archers, more javelins come, but this unit came back, oh no, elephants, yes, second unit out of control here now as well, 268 kills, Numidian infantry making their way, we actually have Seleucid making some, bringing some of his thorax swordsmen over here to help Rome out. Another chariot making their way forward. Let's see what we got. This chariot, 164 elephants, 290. This elephant unit here, 187. So they are getting some good kills. Artillery still, still firing down off the walls here. Armenia, 46 kills. Is there any other artillery? Wait, right, Rome's got his artillery there as well. No shots from the artillery uh, for Rome, for the defending Rome. But this is absolute destruction over here. So far, so far, he's doing much better. 348. That initial push there from um, Masesali honestly did not do as well as he was probably hoping that it would. But the elephants seem to be picking up the kills now. 378 coming in on 400 kills. So this Roman force now is really getting decimated. Uh, I don't see any chariots left though. Got the general. Oh, 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 oh. Noble horse making their way from our Verney. Got some chosen spearmen. A couple more units of chosen swords are coming over here. 296, gonna break 300. This elephant here, 388. Oh, that was a volley. I feel bad for that elephant. Look at all of that. Looks like toothpick shoved in his face. Oh God, another one. Wait a second, they were like about to go out of control, but then they caught themselves? That's weird. That's weird. Uh, noble Cav, Noble Horse over here, chasing down the armored Numidian rider. He took a big volley. Big volley, lost four men though, not too bad. Other elephants still making their way, 319. This unit here, still moving around, still moving around. All right, let's get over here, see what's going on. Wall, oh yeah, walls covered in infantry. Gete has just moved in, Rome on the wall here for the defenders, holding on. Artillery bombing into the settlement for Arverni. Does not look like he's claimed anything yet though. Let's see, Arverni artillery, he's got 16 kills. But back over on this side, Rome for the attacking Rome. Uh, not looking very good. Misesli General running for his life, trying to get away from that noble horse. Not a bad idea. Really not a bad idea to try and get out of there. Misesli, okay, so I would say that it kind of worked out for Misesli as far as going after Rome. The attacking Rome only has three, four units left. So pretty good fight back and forth there. But allies for the attacking Rome. Seleucid and Arverdi coming over here, trying to give a little bit of help. It looks like they have succeeded. Uh, Rome not completely gone, not completely gone, and they were able to chase the Mesesli general back inside. Elephants still rumbling, 337 for that unit. I don't see the other unit. I think they were pretty much completely killed off. Got Evocate cohort running away here. Four kills, 48, 10, 23. So not the greatest amount of kills there for those Roman units who have retreated away. But I want to say that's probably going to be the end of the sally out over on this side. So Misesli did an okay job. He did an okay job. Obviously, we'll have to wait to get to the end of the video so we can see the total kills of all of that that came outside. Uh, elephants, though, one of the units closing in on 400 kills. The other one, I think, was kind of close to 400. Yeah, 338, so it's more close to the 350. But all right, Sally Out is handled and over for the most part. I mean, we still got the Royal Cataphracts over here. 40 kills, zero and zero. So... Armenia is still with the cavalry outside, but Rome again. Another bad sign for Rome. The defending Rome this time. Starting to lose some armored legionnaires there in the center. Mastodon sending some militia hoplites up on the wall. 
Didn't even see the militia hoplites. I thought they were all just regular hoplites. Maybe I was wrong, which is possible. One, two, three. So I guess this was a regular ho a militia hoplite instead of a regular hoplite. But whichever. Whichever, honestly. Sometimes it's just I missed the name of this unit. It's okay. It's okay. This is going to be a brutal fight. I'm just realizing now that the attackers didn't bring any tortoises. So the attackers are attacking the walls. Well, hold on a second. This wall section's... Ooh. Rome, you might want to move that unit out for there. That armored legionnaire, 67% wall damage. Oh, it just fell short. He's trying to knock this corner top spot down. Oh, there you go. There you go. 74%. Okay. Hopefully, he's still got enough ammo left. Oh, he's down to one piece. Wow. Okay. I didn't see that happening. 74%. He's got to knock this wall down. For them to have a much better advantage getting inside. Oh, no. Is he out? Oh, no. He's out of ammunition. Ooh, that is definitely going to make this attack much harder. Much harder now. Just attacking the walls on a walled settlement. I mean, they have factions that could have brought tortoise. Oh, is he not out? Hold on. Did he just fire again? He did. Oh, he's still got ammo. I thought he was out. 94, one shot left. Come on. Oh, he's going to get it. Boom. And a big loss there. Roman unit falling to their deaths underneath the rubble of that wall. Wow. Okay. Arverni coming in. Actually, we can see some more Rome, uh, Arverni here. Let's see. He's got three Osworn, some more Chosen Swordsmen, the Noble Horse. We've already seen the Noble Horse. 70 kills for them. No Gallic Hunters yet, though. Have not seen the Gallic Hunters. Mastodon's still just hanging out back here. By the town center. Hopefully he doesn't just sit back there. Hopefully he does bring those units forward. But the attackers having a venue to get inside the settlement now. And here we go. Mercenary axe warriors getting inside here. We have some of the Seleucid uh, Thorax Swordsmen. Yep, Thorax Swordsmen coming down off the walls. So the streets are now under contention. Oh, no, those are, uh, oh, the Noble Spearmen. I thought those were the regular Axemen. Nope, Noble Spearmen have joined the fight. Going to continue trying to hold this front wall. But the attackers, victorious on the wall, on this side at least, going to start funneling some of their troops down. We have a lot of mercenary axe warriors. Two units of the Noble Swords as well. Oh, my God, Arverni still has ammo? Whoa, really? I thought he was out. He stopped firing there for a second. He's still got ammo. Sneaky, sneaky, Arverni. I love it. Absolutely love it. But dog pile from the defenders charging out off the stairs. We have some hoplites there. Thorax swordsman of Mastodon. Unfortunately, the attackers are shooting shield side. So they're not really doing a whole lot of damage. Maybe this volley gets them in the back a little bit. Probably. Oh, wait. Yep, a little bit. Didn't kill anybody, though. Not a single kill. Uh, this is not. Oh, God. Shield screen, shield screen, and shield screen, but these cataphracts could sneak right through there. But it does not look like he's taking the opportunity. Got some mercenary axe warriors falling back. Oh, the, I didn't see the noble sword general. Okay, so noble sword general right there. Probably not a bad idea. Royal cataphracts falling away. Let's see, they got some good kills though. Yeah, they did. 30 kills on that charge, 21 kills on the charge. 40 still for this Royal Cataphract over there. Need more infantry inside, though. Definitely need more infantry inside. Arverni trying to get a unit of his chosen swordsman off the wall here now. That is big. Thorax 4. Seleucid breaking away, though. 
Where are... Oh, there they are. Okay, I was just about to say where the Gallic Hunters, but there they are. And it looks like they are firing in here. Yeah, they are. Getting shots into the back of the Roman Eagle Cohort, the defending Eagle Cohort. Attackers sending more infantry in here. We have Dacian Heavy Bowman in melee. What is going on? He must have been trying to get a shot on something and just did not have the angle. Hopefully this uh, Gete player realizes that and pull these guys back out. I mean, I know they're not the Heavy Bowman, but they're still Bowman. They're still archers. So hopefully he gets them back out of there. This unit here, Dacian Bowman, kind of swerving around a little bit, trying to maybe find an opportunity to fire. Gallic Hunters here starting to absolutely toss, though. 18, 27, 40, 41. Yeah, they're getting a lot of shots into the back of this front line. Now starting to fire into the back of the Noble Spearman, or the flank of the Noble Spearman. So that is definitely going to continue helping out. But we have some defending regular archers here of Macedon. Elite Persian archers out of ammo, 63 kills. That is a little low for elite Persian archers. But I think, did he see that? He did. Okay, so Gete did get this Dacian, heavy, this Dacian Bowman out of melee. Did they lose a couple men, though, 14 men. But here comes those cow. Oh, God. It's Royal Cataphracts sneaking around. I don't know if the attackers see this. I don't know if they do. I mean, the only thing that's immediately in jeopardy is the uh, giant ballista there. The noble... Horse, actually, I think just dipped off into the woods right there. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for that. Here comes some more Chosen Swordsmen. Okay. So our Verney still has some units hiding in the woods. Uh, over on this side, looks like it's a little... Oh, wait a second. I was going to say, it looks like it's a little bit more difficult for the attackers on this side. We have an Evocate has now landed on the wall, getting off the towers. They're going to be held up by a unit of Thorax Swordsmen there. But we have another Thorax Swordsman right there for... Solution, who could try and land on the wall and help this Evocati there. Archer fire still pouring across. 57, 61, 27, and 37. So they're still doing a good job against this off, I'm sorry, this defensive front. Both of these, yeah, that Eagle cohort's getting dropped. Oh my God. Oh, the volleys into the back. In the back, Captain. Oh, we got some heavy spears here. Yes. Armored Spears, sorry. Some Armored Spears there for Gete, taking on some regular hoplites of Macedon. Walls still under contention here. Noble Swords, Noble Swords, Axemen. Cavalry coming around. Okay, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I'm sorry if I got over here a little bit too late. But there's the Noble Horse. They're going to stop him. Royal Cataphracts in melee. I mean, they're devastating units. 76 charge bonus, but when they get in melee, they only got a 23 melee defense even with a chevron it only goes up to 25 so they could definitely take a ton of damage this unit right there showing it down to 37 how many kills 51 kills with that unit this unit here was 65 let's not forget about this other unit here though i mean that unit could with the distraction of those other two could maybe try and worm his way in there or at least just maybe blast down on these armored spears as well more than likely, their cavalry counter tactics not reset yet. But oh my god, the Praetorian cavalry defending Rome, charging into this front line. Desperately trying to help hold this front. Another big charge coming in again. I'm not really sure why he's charging in like that. He's knocking down some of the Macedon Thorax swordsmen. There's still infantry right here. Macedon could shift... Some more infantry over onto this side. Tony Cav, though, seven kills total. He's lost 10 so far. And he might be just, he might have just put himself in the way of some of these defending range units firing away there. 
Another unit making their way inside for the attackers. I just saw them come in. Dacian Heavy Bowman, 52 kills. Some more Roman troops making their way in here. Praetorians now coming into the fight. Archer fire still pouring over the wall here. Our Verney Gallic Hunters doing some work. 63, 99 kills, 118. Very nice. He's got another unit snuck over here. 62 kills. But the attackers losing on this side. I'm not sure where that other Thorax Swordsman went that was on this tower. Did it get killed? Uh, I don't know. What did it move over here? Silver Shield, Silver Shield. Oh, maybe that was it? I want to say that that unit that was on the tower here was wounded. And that one is wounded. It's down to 84 men. That might have been them. It definitely might have been them. But all right, Cataphracts, let's see what we got going on. Oh, my God, Cataphracts, way back over here. Noble Horse still giving chase. Chosen Spearman still giving chase. Royal Cataphracts down to 24 men. This unit here with 42. But these are very troops way, way, way out of position now. I mean, I get the Noble Horse. They're trying to catch up to them. They're trying to kill them off. He's getting, ooh, he's getting one of them to waver. How many are left in here? 29 Noble Horse. Okay. Chosen Spearman, 14 kills. Okay, they broke one of the cataphracts. That's big. And they only got away with 60 kills for that, that cataphract. That's actually super gigantic that that cataphract only ended up with 60 kills or whatever it was. What did I just say? Yeah, 60 kills exactly. Wow, okay. Uh, Noble Horse trying to catch up to this other unit of the Royal Cataphract. 71 kills for them, but the Noble Horse has caught them. He's still trying to run them away. Cataphract is going to start losing, though. That is a very heavy melee cavalry for Arverni. They are going to win that fight for sure. Even if they don't, well, even if they don't win, they're definitely going to lop that number down on that Royal Cataphract. But all right, back over here, huge general ability just blasted off. We had a rally coming. I believe that is the oh, might have been the Gete general. I thought it was going to be the Seleucid general, but he's way over here. Nope, he's got the strategist general. Okay, all right, good. I'm a fan of the Strategist General myself. General ability, I should say. Uh, Gete not holding up very well on the wall here. Definitely need to get more pressure in through this breach. And they actually, never mind, they are getting more pressure. Here we go. We got some Silver Shield Swordsmen around the corner. They were able to come in here and just kind of loop de doop around the corner there. Got some regular archers charging in. 126 kills for the regular archers. Thorax Swordsmen of Seleucid going to try and hold back these Silver Shield Swordsmen, but it's probably not going to work out very well in the Thorax Swordsmen's favor. Are the attackers winning over on this side? Ooh, Evocati, Thorax, Swordsman. Yeah, it looks like they're going to. It looks like they're going to. We have a chosen Swordsman of our Verney. Going to land over here as well. So the attackers getting a really solid foothold into the settle now. They pretty Into the settlement, I should say. They pretty much have this front corner. Uh, they have not captured the towers and gate over here yet. But they pretty much have this front corner of the settlement. As you can see, there's really no defending units over here as well uh, anymore. And actually, Armenia is running away from the front line. We've got 15 minutes left in the battle. I mean, he's still fighting over here. Got a cataphract outside. Oh, that one won. They beat the Noble Horse. Okay. 98 kills for that unit. 40 kills there. But you can see the attackers assuming the position of a defensive line, protecting their archers. Oh, wait a second. We got some O-Sworn making their way forward. I mean, the attackers, if they wanted to... I was just about to say that, and then I see Arverni's doing it. Start getting your archers inside the settlement. Nestle them up over here in the corner if you'd like. Because you can just come here, block this road, and block this road, and just get all your archers right there. I don't think there's any defending artillery. Um, Essentially, he's got his artillery there, 42 kills. Rome artillery way, way back over on the other side of the settlement there on the water's edge. So the attackers getting your ranged inside. Probably would not be a terrible idea. Cataphracts again, charging in. 67 kills. He did use that trample, but it looks like they charged into Osworn. I mean, yeah, the unit's losing decisively, but once that cataphract gets back out of there, 
Uh, wait, the other cataphract charged in here. Here comes that. Oh my god, the chosen spear, but still running. Still running. Royal cataphracts. I don't think this one's going to get away. He's got an O sworn and a Royal Peltast. This one did get away from the fight, though. I mean, yeah, Seleucid, Gete, just bring your archers inside. Just get them in over here. Get them into this corner. Keep them safe. Just keep them safe away from the cataphracts. That's really all I'm saying. Just get them inside. Keep them away. Keep them safe from the archers. I mean, from the cataphracts. We have an open lane here, Seleucid. Let's see. Two kills, five kills. Yeah, they got, arch they got ammo. Get them inside. This unit here with 30 kills. Bring them up onto the wall at least. Just get them out of the way. Because there's still a dangerous cataphract right there. Still a dangerous cataphract outside. But the attackers now getting inside the settlement. This is going to be the final 13 minutes of this battle. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty brutal. Speaking of brutal, fighting still going on up on the walls over here. My God. Mercenary Axe Warriors, 35 kills. Noble Swords there with 171. Armored Legionnaires, 110. Chosen Swords, 31. But the attackers now using their ranged and firing into the defending units on the wall here. Getting some shots into these Cartley Axemen. We have another unit of Chosen Swordsmen here, pretty much untouched. 115 men making their way forward here with another tower. Uh, Salusa General over here protecting the Dacian Heavy Bowmen. Interesting. That's actually really cool to see. The teammates kind of working together there. Attackers now capturing this gatehouse, filing another unit of Chosen Swordsmen further down. Going to capture up that Scorpion Tower. Oh! Scorpion Towers. Interesting. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Armored Numidian Rider General moving across. He's got 10 kills. So that's that's all Masesali has left is the general. I mean, not counting the artillery piece, but I think he's out. It does appear that he is out of ammunition. So with the Armored Numidian Rider General for Masesali is his final unit. Hopefully, we will be able to see some pretty good um, use. Maybe he's going to find some rear charges, some opportunities. I mean, he's kind of got a bit of an opportunity right here. If he can sneak down there, he's got all these Gallic Hunters. But a lot of them have over 100 kills, so maybe that's not worth it. And they're actually shuffling in this way. Never mind. They're going to shuffle in this way. We're going to get behind the safety of this Chosen Swordsman unit. Again, gate... Yeah, gate's been captured. Okay. Gate has been captured. Miss Aisley, better idea just to pull away. But the attackers inside the settlement here now, guys. we got about 11 minutes left in the replay. And it's pretty much... Defensive-wise, the majority of it is Macedon. I mean, Armenia still has some, some of the Cartley Axemen there. Still has his general... This is all attack. Oh, wait. Oh, no. They got to him. They got to him. Oh, that sucks. That was a unit. They only had 34 kills. All right, here we go. What are we doing here? Shield bearers. We're charging into a royal cataphract. 22 left in the unit. I mean, honestly, just get on the wall. Just get on the wall. Climb in. Leave that cataphract alone. You're moving down over here. You're going to start capture up this gatehouse. You're moving down over here. Oh, no, you didn't. Ooh, I mean, that could, the cataphract could run all the way back over there, but it's going to take a little bit for them to do that. Nope. Why is the... Well, I mean, okay, the general's going to try and make his way through the breach. He's going to open himself up to a rear charge from those royal cataphracts, though. I mean, yes, but the attackers do have control of that tower, so this cataphract's probably not going to be around very much longer. He's down to 13... 139 kills, though. Not terrible. Not terrible. Probably wish that they were more. But again, this is on just large size units. This is not ultra size units. So you don't have 160 infantry. You only have 120 infantry, 90 archers, and the cavalry. Aside of the Legatus generals, but it looks like the Legatus, both of the Legatus generals are dead. Legatus generals were down to 30, and the uh, Armored Dominion Riders, other cavalries here, were at 60. But all right, here we go. What do we got? we got shield bearers on the front line, getting ready to entertain the barbarians of Arverni, some chosen swordsmen, lackadaisically just charging into that front line. Not really very much of a charge. Really not very much of a charge at all. Oh my god, that dude just got stabbed. 
through the neck. Attackers sent anything else up? Oh, they have. Okay, we got the uh, Dacian Bowman here firing. Ooh. Maybe the Masasely General's thinking about this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Roman Artillery over here. That better, that one better turn. Yeah, he's staying facing that way. Okay. I was going to say, he better not turn around. He better not turn around. All right, so we still have an as at night here for the defenders as far as cavalry. So the defenders still having two units of cavalry at their disposal. This one is pretty damaged, though. Misesely General down to 34 men. The Azat Knight, I believe. Yeah, he's totally fine. Here we got Osworn charging in here now, though. Four units of Osworn making their way forward. I don't know how well that shield bearers... I don't know how well those shield bearers are going to hold up. Dacian Heavy Bowman went in first. Or is that just Dacian Bowman? Dacian Bowman went in first, okay. Looks like maybe the Arverni... Oatsworn getting ready to throw javelins. Oh, they're not going to be allowed to. Okay. Mastodon charging out. Now that is a little bit of a... Little bit of a gap right there. Little bit of a gap. You can see it. Yep. Arverni's trying to... He was trying to thin that unit up to be able to get them through there. Do the attackers have any cavalry? I don't think they do. No, they don't. Attackers, no cavalry. We have a chosen swordsman coming up over here, though. Leading... All of these Gallic Hunters now, they cannot see these guys yet. They see the general, though. They definitely see that general. The Verney Hunters still just moving forward. The Gallic Hunters still just moving on forward. Chosen Swordsman, tired. Here comes another unit of the Gallic Hunters there. Chosen Spearman, I mean, if they wanted to, they could just block this. Not allow that general to come up this way. But they have Cartley Axman here. That's, that's a problem. That is a problem for our Verney, but it does look like the Cartley Axemen are just going to continue moving along. Is that Masace Lee? Oh, I thought he got caught out. The banners looked like they were so close together. I thought he was going to get caught out there. Balance of power really not in favor of the defenders here at all. And now we have archer fire pouring in. The Syrian archers of Seleucid firing away. Getting shots into the Cretan archers here of Macedon. The Osworn General taking on some Royal Peltas. This one should be... Oh, no. Gallic Hunters blasting down. Thorax Pikeman getting shot. Mass... Oh, God. Volley's coming down. This Thorax is just going to get destroyed. Oh, my God. With the quickness. With the quickness. Another volley coming down. Or are they hitting the archers now? Nope. They're hitting these Cretans. Oh, boy. Decimation. Decimation is close to being achieved. Oh, nice now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Missacely General looking for a gap. He's found a way. He has found the way. Sneaking on through here. I mean, we do still have defenders right there. I mean, uh, infantry right there. We have two Royal Peltas. But he did get into the Seleucid Archers just if for a little bit. Where'd the other Syrian archers go? Where'd they go? Didn't, they, didn't he just have four of them right there? Maybe they got taken out. Maybe that got taken out, but look at this. Our Verney is just sneaking around over here. All of his archers pretty much exposed. What is going on? Are the defenders actually going to hold this? Precisely, General. Charging into the back of the Osworn Jar. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. He's down to 11 men left. Got some Arverni archers in the town center here now. They're going to make their way over towards these Cretan archers. As at Knights. Oh, they're getting volleyed. But they're going to get in. Maybe. Nope. Chosen Spearman. Never mind. Oh, I thought they were going to get in there. Chosen Spearman now charging out with that cavalry counter tactics. Going to get into that As at Knight. Now, this is a very heavy melee cavalry. So not as the cataphracts, so they have much better melee defense. 48. 48 melee defense. Much better than the 20 or 22, whatever it was for the cataphracts. 
Uh, but more being lost here in the town center for the defenders. Thorax Pikeman not looking very solid anymore. Unit losing decisively. This unit is losing. Macedon General is still over here. He's actually getting in. He's getting into the Arverni Hunters here. It looks like they used pretty much all of their ammo. This unit here, they still have ammo. 90, 109 kills, I should say. So they still have ammo, but it looks like maybe they're going to... Maybe they're going to fire? I don't really know. I mean, they could... They could start trying to fire this way. I don't know. That might be out of their range, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cartley Axman way over here. Not really sure what Armenia is trying to do with this. These guys are exhausted. Not really sure what the plan is there. Seleucid General still holding the fort back there. Just in case, I guess, anything else from the cataphracts or any other cavalry from the defenders. Uh, but this one looks like this may be a defender's um, loss. I was about to say victory because... Those are usually the replays that come in. Defenders winning. Uh, but this looks like it's going to be a defender's loss and attacker's victory. Those don't happen very often. Thorax Pikeman, 51 kills. Royal Peltast, 113. But, I mean, they're taking on Noble Swords. They're taking on Osworn. They got Silver Shield Swords. That is tough. That is tough. So this one is pretty much uh, over here. We got... Two minutes and 52 seconds left. The Cartleys. Oh, did they just break? <laughs> oh, my God. Cartleys just broke. So we have the Macedon General over here with 119 men. And he is just going to continue fighting along. We're going to fast forward because it's just the Macedon General. That's all that's left. But I know people get mad when I skip stuff. So we're going to stay here. We're going to stay right here until this battle is over. Just so people don't get mad that I skipped things. Oh, the Shield Bearer General now getting volleyed. The Gallic Hunters. Vicious. Vicious volleys coming down. Volley after volley after volley onto, those, onto the uh, Shield Bearers. But I mean, the Shield Bearers are actually winning melee over here. Winning decisively. Yep, breaking some Chosen Swordsmen. They're probably going to break that Chosen Spearman here as well. But now we got Osworn. Oh, boy. Three units of Osworn. No, not full. 83, 72, 55. If that Chosen Spear can hold long enough for those Arverni Osworn to get in here, that's definitely going to spell the end. I mean, this one's over. You can already tell there's not a, sh a shred of... Oh, God, volley. But look at that. It's still 106... This last Osworn come around here, just flank charge. Shield bearers, now they're losing. Spears on one side, Osworn on the other. There you go. Shield bearer general breaking away. And there you go. Attackers victory. Let's get into the army comps here. We will start off by looking at the defenders. We have Misesli, who was commanded by uh, Snowman. He actually, wow, he's got the second most kills in the battle. Very nice. Very well done. Uh, but Snowman, but the uh, replay was sent in by Snowman. 1,770 kills for him. 31 with the General Elephants, 390, 383. And again, they were large-sized units. They were not the ultra-sized infantry units of 160. They were only 120. So pretty good kills there with Elephants. 400 for one, almost 350 for the other. Chariots, 117, 202, 180. Pretty good. Uh, his Numidian Riders didn't do very much. I wonder if they were just like a distraction. They were the, the javelin soakers, if you will. Uh, Desert Cohort, 90 kills there, 86 for the Desert Legionnaires. And his front guerrilla line, Numidian Light Infantry, 58, 48, 29, 42. Then we have Aspect playing as Macedon, 1,617 kills, 214 with the General Archers, 110, 126, Cretans, 109, uh, Hoplites, 89, uh, Royal Peltas, 113, Shieldbearers, 101, 137, Thorax Pikes did not get very much, uh, Thorax Sojourn, 93, 64. Then we have Zuz Kavladko, I think. I don't know. Kavladko, maybe? 1,084, defending Rome. General destroyed. Praetorian Cav, I'm not sure what they were rear charging at. Syrians got seriously annihilated. Uh, his armored legionnaires, 103, 160, 116, 100, 152. Eagle Cohort, 103 for the top there. And then we have I Might Snag playing as Armenia. 998 kills, almost 1,000. 11 with the general... Royal Cataphracts, 118, 147. Elite Persian Archers, one unit there with 102, another unit with 96. Uh, regular Axemen, top was a 77. Cartleys, they just fell apart. Not sure why he pulled them all the way over there. 
and the Noble Spearman top was a 44. Getting into the attackers, we have Worthy or Worthy Yayayup, I guess. I don't know. 1142 with Seleucid, 17 with the General, Syrians 100, Silver Shield Swordsman 92, 179, Royal Peltast really didn't get used very much. Uh, his Thorax Swordsman here 103, 132, 109, pretty solid. Red Viking with Geta, he actually had the. Oh, wait. No, no, he had the third most kills. Never mind. Uh, 110 for the Noble Swords. Dacian Bowman, Dacian Heavy Bowman, not getting a whole lot. 87 for the top there. Armored Spears, 84, 137, 72. Axe Warriors top was a 67. And then his Noble Swords, 119, 192, 246, 111. Pretty solid there. Then we have Big Kahuna coming in with the most kills playing as Arverni, 1,935 kills. 115 with the General, 107 with the Noble Horse. Gallic Hunters, 111, 136, 129, 174. Great job overall. Uh, Celtic Warrior, 68. Chosen, Spo Chosen Spears, 64. Getting into his Chosen Swords from 214, 102, 113, 103. And his Os one here, 90, 90, 86. And then we have two Jidian, I guess, two Jedion. Uh, 879 with the Attacking Rome. General got destroyed. Archers got destroyed. Evil Kade Cohort, one unit with 154 kills. Next closest to that was a 42. Then his Legionnaires, 48, 65, 86. Praetorians, 203 and 63. But let's not forget, this was the army that got sallied out on. So, But that's going to be the end, guys. So thank you very much. Hopefully you enjoyed the battle. If you did, feel free. Hit the like button. Drop some comments. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys very, very much for coming to hang out. But hopefully you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one.